Hello guys, I am Shraddha, third year AC and RA curriculum. Myself and Roja are going to present the topic grading and standardization. The contents involved are grading, standardization, problems in standardization and grading and AGMAR. Grading. Grading means sorting of unlike uh, lots of produce into different lots according to quality specification laid down. Grading is an important function of standardization. It implies division of products into classes possessing similar characteristics of size and quality. It is mostly done in the case of raw materials, mineral products and agricultural products. Types of grading in India Fixed grading or mandatory grading Contrived or decentralized grading The packer either sets up his own or get the lots graded in approved laboratories. Grading at producer level Under this, free grading facilities are provided. Grading for export Criteria for grade standards Standards should be built on the characteristics which user consider important and these characteristics should be easily recognizable. Grade standards should be built on those factors which can be accurately and uniformly measured and interpreted. The grade standard terminology should be uniform at all levels of marketing channel. The cost of operating the grading system must be reasonable. Purpose of grading It is to describe the quality of produce for sale activity. It protects the consumers from unfair trade practices by traders. It works as a basis for fixing price and premium price as per quality. Advantages of grading Production of large scale, increase in sales, quality certainty, helpful in financial management and in con future contracts. It makes price more reasonable to grades and there will be difference in price as per quality. Simplification of storage and marketing of different grades. Loans can be based on stored goods as per the grade. Easier to understand quality available for each grade in case of bulk sale. Grading helps to create perfect competition in the market. Overall market cost can be uh, reduced by repeat evaluation. Consumer's perception to grading. It is categorized as follows. Enlightened category that is educated. Middle level that is moderately educated. Lower level that is illiterate. Ignorant category that is labor and poor. Producers' problems in grading. The agriculture produce is perishable. Producers need money and they can't delay the good sale for grading work etc. Uniformity of production is not in control of the farmers. There could be side effects of pesticides. It is felt that in case of grains, grading is not required as the uh, buyers of grains goes, on, goes by field and rates. The expectations, uh, cooking methods, spices, types etc. change from region to region. Efforts to popularize grading The NAC, that is National Commission of Agriculture, gave some suggestions to improve grading. There should be adequate training for graders and people with agricultural knowledge should be encouraged to become qualified graders. All agro and rural uh, commodities should be covered for grading. NAC has suggested to make grading and standardization compulsory for local sales also for all agricultural commodities. There should be only one agency to formulate grades and standards. The authority of central government agency, DMI, and state marketing federation should be made very clear. Standardization. It is the process of fixing certain norms for the product. According to NAC, the determination of basic limits or grades in the form of specification to which manufactured goods must conform and a class into which the product of agriculture and the extra active industries may be sorted. Basis of standardization Agricultural goods are standardized on the basis of different factors and those factors are on the basis of quantity, weight and measures, on the basis of size and shape, on the basis of color such as apples, on the basis of quality such as food grains and cotton. Advantages of standardization Uniformity in quality, differential pricing, increased in demand, elimination of risk, expanding the market, availability of finance, no need for inspection. Problems in standardization and grading. Lack of standards and grades, misuse of standards and grades, lack of public consciousness uh, due to low standard of living, illiteracy, dominance of rural population, lack of facilities and testing facilities. AGMARC. AGMARC is the acronym for Agricultural Marketing. It is the quality certification mark under Central Agricultural 
produced act 1937 it is done for commodities of internal consumption it indicates the products meet certain standards of purity and quality labels of different colors are used to indicate the grade of the products strict procedures are followed and rules are laid down to ensure the conformity to the standards set up as per the grade given thank you